I'm actually starting to get used to interactive brokers. I mean, it does take a bit of time, but honestly, it's actually not that bad. And um, I actually like selling options or selling spreads. I like, I'll, let, let me rephrase that. I like selling spreads better with um, with interactive brokers because I actually find it faster for this reason only. And I'll show you an example. So, um, for example, I was thinking of selling NVIDIA call spread. So all I have to do is search for NVIDIA. And then I click on the list here. And then I get an extra option that comes up here, an extra line I mean, that comes, comes up. I click on option chain. And then I like this layout here. It's so much faster for spreads. Uh, and I've got the expiries. And I've got the number of days. Uh, and now I know earnings was for Nvidia is November twenty fourth. I want to avoid earnings, so the I wanted to sell the November seventeen expiry. I think earnings is November twenty first, so I wanted to avoid earnings. So therefore, I should stay away from November twenty fourth expiry. I'll go for November seventeen, and I want to sell a call spread because Nvidia went up, so I want to go against it. Uh, so for example, I see it trading around, but this is after hours. I think it closed at around four twenty one or something. But for example, I'll just look at the straddle value. So I could see it right here. It's, uh, I think it closed at 425 or 422. So you can see it's around 30 points, right? 15 from the put, 15 from the call. So the straddle is around 30 points. So expected move is around 30 points. So basically I just do 420 plus 30. That gives me 450. I go on the call side and I want to sell the 450. So I click on the bid side and I want to buy the 455. And there you go. My my spread is already created and I could just double, I could just confirm, click order to open the trade. And I just put my minus one over here. I got used to putting minus one and therefore it shows me a credit. I can make sure, double check with the individual leg. So sell 450 by 455. I'm good. Submit by order. And that's it. That's, it's, um, that's how much time it takes me to sell a call spread with interactive brokers right now. So I've been selling and I could just, if I can't, to cancel it, I could just double, I could just re-click on what I already clicked on. So I've been selling uh, spreads here. I've closed a bunch right now. What I've got, I've got a Tesla bull spread or a Tesla put spread at 175, 170. I'd open for a dollar right now. It's actually worth 60. So it's $30 profit. I can pro actually $40 profit. Uh, I've got a Tesla, another put spread at 190, 185. This one is not so profitable because Tesla dropped a lot after I opened this trade. I've got a Netflix call spread that I opened today for a dollar. It was showing a bit of profit today, but didn't close it. Right now it's showing $5 profit. And what I like ab about uh, the interface, uh, this is the browser. So I prefer using the browser so I can access it from any computer. I don't want to install the, the, uh, the, the desktop application. What I like also is I finally understood the cash here, cash holding. So it shows me I've got, I, initially I had transferred 5,000 Canadian only, didn't convert anything. But because I've been selling options in US, so my cash, my US cash line is going up. So right now I've got $368 of US cash, but I've got three positions in US that I still have to close. So if I don't close these positions and they expire worthless, then the 368 of US cash is mine. But I'm most likely going to buy them back and close it. So I actually have a little bit less when I buy them back. And that's if I buy them back for a profit, right? If, uh, if, one, if, if one of these trades go bad and I have to buy it for max loss, which is $500, then I'm going to drop back into the negative. I was actually negative 300, I believe, US at some point, And now it's positive. I've had a few uh, positive trades in a row. And with the Canadian cash, I bought um, CIBC and I bought the, this cash ETF. So the, the, the Canadian cash is generating interest and I'm selling US spreads or I'm selling spreads in US or I'm selling options in US using the buying power generated from the 5,000 Canadian cash. Or right now they're not cash anymore, it's actually positions. Uh, so if I go to trade orders, show you some transactions obviously the commissions are pretty good so as you can see this netflix call spread it cost me 70 cents a contract as you can see here it's very small it cost me 70 cents a contract with quest trade I would have paid five dollars just to open the trade and then 75 cents per contract so i'm actually paying less per contract on this trade now not every trade is the same this xsp put spread 
Commission is 91 cents, so a bit higher than Questrade, but at least there's no $5 just to open the trade. So still cheaper, overall still cheaper than Questrade. See, this one was 91 cents as well. So it looks like the index, the ones that represent the index or even SPX, usually it's almost a dollar, sometimes over a dollar, a dollar 30. But then individual stocks is lower. As you can see, this Tesla one was 65 cents, 66 cents. Uh, NVIDIA was 69 cents. And then XSP again, 91 cents. Meta, Facebook here, Meta was a dollar for, I don't know why. Uh, NVIDIA was 69 cents. So you can see the commissions are pretty good. Meta was a dollar five as well. I don't get why. Anyways, buying stock was, buying shares was only a dollar. So commissions is way better, especially for one contract trade. If you're doing 10 contracts, then maybe Quest Trade might be better, easier interface, much easier interface for sure. But yeah, for now, I'm uh, I'm actually enjoying it. It's not too bad. And I'm starting to understand this as well. So the C is the previous close. Wherever you see a C, that's previous close. Cost basis is how much, of course, we entered the trade. Market value is what it's trading right now. So you can see cost basis minus 98. So I collected a dollar. And this is after commission. So it already removed the commissions from my cost basis. So that's good. So minus 98. Market value right now is 60. So if I close it right now, I make a profit. Unrealized PNL right now is plus 38. Now this is the daily PNL. This is how much it moved today in terms of the PNL. But the overall PNL is unrealized PNL. So actually, I don't really need daily PNL. I don't care about it. Uh, so let's look, let's click on these three dots here. Oh, there you go. It's got edit column. So for sure that's going to help me remove uh, daily PNL. I don't need it. There we go. So save. I go back. No more daily PNL. Pretty good. Average price. Do I need average price? I don't know what average price is. So this is last. This is cost basis. Market value. Okay. And average price. What is average price? How much I paid to get in? I'm not sure what average price is. 51. I guess average price is what it's trading for right now. Yeah. Yeah. Average price is what it's trading for right now. And market value is the total is total value of your position. Uh, $50. Yeah. Makes sense. Last 56. What? No, I don't even know what average price is. Average price is what you paid. Yeah. Average pr price is what you paid plus commissions. Okay. But why is this 99? This one's 84. Yeah, I don't get it. Um, I don't know if I should keep average price. I already have cost basis. I don't really need average price. Well, yeah, I've got cost basis here. It's good for shares because this shows you how much I paid to get into the trade. A lot with plus commission. Yeah, I guess I can keep average price. Let's see if there's anything else interesting here under edit columns. Um, instrument. Selected columns, okay. Search all columns. ESG social set to option exercise dividends. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I need. Oh, that might be interesting. Implied volatility. Yeah. Anyways, I don't care really. It doesn't. Uh, it's not going to add value to me. So yeah, I'll leave it as is. And as I go, if there's if I feel there's a column that I need, I'll just go add it. But yeah, overall, it's uh, I'm enjoying it, especially since I I mostly uh, trade one contract spreads, so it makes a big difference with commissions. So yeah, if you have any questions, leave in the comment section below. And like always, if you want to check out Interactive Brokers, I've got a referral link in the description below the video. Thanks for watching.